Howdy everybody, David here, and this is week number 23 for everything that's going on in my world this week for June 6th to June 12th. Now we've got a lot to cover and discuss, so let's get right to it. Now the first thing that uh, I want to talk to you about is the Football Manager series that I had done called This Is Dayford FC. Uh, I am having a new logo created and I am also going to redo the entire series. I, this was the first time that I had done this as Dayford FC. I had used a really low team, uh, not with a, a lot of money, a really small stadium, and uh, I, I want to keep the series to about six to ten seasons, which is actually quite a bit of gameplay, but I am now going to uh, restart the game, and I'm going to be using uh, a higher professional team uh, in the Skybet 2 League, I'm going to be using Portsmouth. They've got a pretty good starting bank. They've got a, a pretty hefty payroll. And I've basically, what I've done is I've created the team from scratch. I did not do that before when I took Ebsfleet in the Vanarama South. Uh, you know, as with a professional team, the reputation is higher, the better coaches that I can, you know, actually have come and work for me, the better players that I can attract to come and play for me. So I'm basically getting rid of the Vanarama South and the Vanarama North uh, semi-professional, you know, two years I'm cutting off. So uh, I'm going to be starting in Skybet 2 with the new series. This new team is uh, basically built from for me. I started with no coaches. I literally deleted all of the players uh, when I created a club. So I've got all my players that I've brought in. Uh, and you know, I didn't I didn't make a, a balls of the wall team. I didn't I didn't bring in Neymar or you know I didn't I didn't bring in any huge players at all. I have players that are actually from the Vanarama League, semi professional, Skybet two uh, Skybet 1 and also a Skybet Championship player and one Major League Soccer player uh, in Mix Discarude. So I like him. He's a pretty good uh, midfielder. So he's definitely by far the best player on my team. Uh, but like I said, guys, this is not a, a you know, a balls to the wall team. This is actually going to be a competitive team in Skybet 2. Uh, so I've built the team. I, I think I have about a 20, 25 man roster. I've built a, I've built a U21 team, I've built a U18 team, and I built a coaching staff, which is real good. Uh, stadium is a 20,000 seat stadium. I think it's upgradable to about 40,000 or 45,000, something like that. So I'm not going to be in the same situation as I was playing with Ebsfleet. You know, when I took that 4,000 seat stadium and upgraded it for the first time, that was a two year chunk of time. And that was just, you know, that killed me financially. Even though we were fine, Dr. Abdullah kept putting money into it. But, you know, having a larger stadium to start with is really going to help. Uh, so I, I think this save is going to be much better. Uh, I've brought in, you know, uh, I have, let's see, what other players did I bring in? I, I brought in. Uh, Mix Discarude from Major League Soccer, which he's not even a, a star. I mean, he's he's a U.S. men's national player that gets to play once in a while, and he's not even in the Copa America tournament. So, uh, I also brought in uh, one player from Skybet Championship, Courtney Haas. Listen to my my neighbor's got an airboat. He just got fired up. This thing was literally there's a little pond that is uh that kind of goes around this neighborhood in between like a a series of houses and he used to race his damn airboat in that little pond well he flipped it one day and he let it sit in that water for like two years flipped upside down and then he finally had a crane come in pull it out and he's actually got the damn thing working i unbelievable the guys guys a uh, a good mechanic but i could just imagine how much that just killed that sitting in that water for it, it had to have been at least a year and a half probably close to two years but he he's got the damn thing running so it's awesome so anyways back to football manager uh it's going to be a better save this time and i'm looking forward to it i'm going to have uh you know the corny announcers 
Listen to that airboat. Wow, he's cranking the shit out of that. I almost want to go over there and stand in the in the in front of the blades and just get blasted by all that wind. That'd be awesome. So, like I said, shorter episodes. Uh, you know, it's not going to be half a season one episode anymore. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more commentary. So I think you'll like the the new FM series much better. All right. So next. Uh, I'm going to talk about the zombie apocalypse. We got it. Uh, we got two new players. I'd like to welcome James and Eddie, aka Tear and Sandman, to the Sunday game. I'm happy. Yesterday went great. Great role playing. The players fit right in. We incorporated them into the story, and you can see, uh, starting with session number 36, you can see the new zombie apocalypse. It's uploaded. Hopefully these players will be around for a long time to come and we won't have to switch anyone out. Next, let's talk about uh, calling out to an artist. So last week I called out to an, uh, an artist. I did find an artist and I'm gonna, just gonna, I'm not gonna give you his full name, but his name is Mark. He's done a lot of cool images uh, for how I want to transform the website the channel into something else. So all that's going to come next week. Hopefully it should. Uh, anyway, the, the the basics will be done. I'm sure I'll probably still be adding a little bit of art and stuff uh, sporadically because uh, I, I know that uh, Mark's got a lot of stuff going on and I, I'm not going to bombard him with all this stuff uh, you know, to be done. But uh, he's a really good artist and he's really provided some really kick-ass art and a couple of me as well and it kind of actually looks like me and I'm actually kind of uh, shocked by it. It looks really good. It, it's really good art anyways. So uh, thanks Mark for, for doing this. If you watch the video this week I appreciate it and uh, yeah pretty awesome. So next uh, I need to call out to someone that knows how to do like serious editing for video. Now I want to make an animated, about a three to five second animated intro for my new project that I have and for table topping. So I need someone that can edit it. I, I'm, in, I'm a very beginner slash novice video editor and what I can do, I can't do anything compared to animated video or nothing like that. So. You know, I can just kind of like overlay things onto the video and stuff, and it, which is the extent of my knowledge for working with a, a you know, a video creator slash editor. So I had, you know, a, around Christmas time of last year, I actually had a, a gentleman that was making an intro, a like four second intro for table topping. And uh, I haven't heard from him since Christmas. And this thing was almost done, and it was fully animated, and then he just disappeared. I, I hope he's okay. But um, if any of you guys out there can, you know, make me a four to five second intro for table topping and a new project that I have, guys, I would totally appreciate it. And I will help promote your art and your work and if you have any kind of website and stuff like that. So if you guys can do that, please shoot me a message on my contact button or if you want to leave me something here in the comments section down below. All right, so next let's talk about the 24-hour stream that I want to do. I've talked about this the last couple of this week videos. Well, I'm going to be doing a anywhere between 12 and 24 hour stream next Tuesday slash Wednesday and that is going to be June 14th and 15th and it's going to I'm going to try to do this from midnight to midnight all right I'm an old guy I get tired so sometimes you know if I want to do a 24 hour stream sometimes I may last 18 hours sometimes I may last 20 hours hell one time I even lasted like 30 hours so guys next Tuesday, next Wednesday. That'll be the 24-hour Patreon-a-thon and the subathon. And this is where I'm going to reveal the new Patreon website. It is uh, in the process of being finished, and I will reveal all of that next week. And in fact, I'll, I might reveal it on Monday's video, but I'm not too sure. So next Tuesday, Wednesday, 24-hour stream. You know, it's to help get some more subs going. Uh, you know, that's that's the whole. That's what I need to do. All right. So, 
Next, with the Twitch channel, I've had an EXP system for several years. It doesn't get used a lot. So tell me guys, tell me guys and gals out there, what do you think of the EXP system? Should I keep it? Should I ditch it? Are there any kinds of changes or improvements that should be made to the EXP system or to the point system in general? So guys, leave comments down below, please. I'm, I'm, I'm begging you guys to be active in the community. And, you know, and I appreciate the commenters that do comment. And I appreciate the people that thumbs up the videos. But guys, seriously, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people watch these videos. Please, if you're able to, if you have any ideas, please comment. So comment on the EXP system. Also thumbs up the video if you like it. Now, next, uh, look, kind of a shameless plug for, for a thumbs up. But uh, anyways, all right. Now, here's the big news for this week. As you guys know, I've already mentioned the zombie apocalypse game had two players added. All right, we added Sandman, which is uh, Eddie, and then we added Tear, which is James. I interviewed quite a few people. Uh, it some it did not work out because of time restrictions, because of uh, the rule sets that are being played. A lot of people thought that we were going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons 5e, and uh, I'm sorry if I came off uh, as you know as we were going to play D&D 5e, but uh, from what I remember, I really don't remember mentioning that we were going to play D&D 5e. I know that Saturday is going to be a sci-fi theme with Titan's Grave and a Newman era and uh, Star Wars Edge of Empire, and I know Sunday is going to be uh, you know, zombie apocalypse rotated with Shadow of the Demon Lord, and then I said possibly maybe D&D 5e, and, and I think I really stress that as a maybe. So, Guys, I'm sorry if I came out, uh, came off as if we were definitely playing 5e, but I've had I had quite a few players last week kind of pull out because they wanted to play 5e, and I'm sorry, guys. I love 5e. You guys know I do. I mean, I have ton. I have 1,200 character sheets on my website. I have all this stuff dedicated to D&D 5e. You know, 2,000 videos of D&D 5e games, but I just need to take a break from it for a little while. That's it. I just need to play some other games, get the other games out of my system. And I know everybody, you know, the, the, the hottest thing now in tabletop gaming is D&D 5e. I get it. I understand it. But, guys, I've been playing it for a long time, and I just need to take a little break from it. So we'll get back into the 5e swing of things down the line. I promise we will. But uh, right now, just need to do some other things. But keep an eye on Patreon next week. I will say that. I will give you that little hinter. All right, so I need one more player for Saturday. And like I had mentioned in last week's video, I was opening this up for subscribers slash Patreon contributors. Well, everybody has spoken to me, and I've spoken to everyone that was interested. So now I am opening this up to everyone. And I had plenty of players, but... You know, I, I did have several people back out at the last minute, and that was why we did not have a Saturday Titans Grave game. So, I, here it is, official announcement. I'm opening up the Saturday game to everybody. If you're not a subscriber, if you're not a Patreon contributor, this is your chance. And this is, actually, this is a really rare thing, because, I, I first off, I don't need a lot of players. And then, secondly, when I do need players... Usually, the subscribers or the Patreon contributors snuff those spots up quickly. So uh, this is a rare time. So if if you are interested in playing uh, on Saturdays, the time frame is 2 p.m. to 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All times are Eastern. Saturday is also. I want to emphasize this. This is a sci-fi day. So we will be. Uh, continuing on with Titan's Grave, when you make a character, I will incorporate you into the game. We will come up with a story and how we're going to incorporate you in the game. After the Titan's Grave game, we'll we, we will be moving to Numenera slash Strange slash Cypher System stuff. Now, 
we are going to say sci-fi theme hopefully on Saturday and that also means that we could play some Savage Worlds The Last Parsec or we may even play Star Wars Edge of Empire or maybe even the original D6 Star Wars can't guarantee any of those games in particular but I'm hoping to keep with the Saturday sci-fi theme so if you would like to play in a Saturday game from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. I'm looking for someone that's going to be dedicated that is going to be there someone that is going to give me their undivided attention for four hours and I promise I will give you my undivided attention and hard work to present you a good game that you'll have fun with so if you uh, are looking for a stable game please in the comment section down below or if you want to I'm opening up the floodgates. If you want to send me a uh, personal message on my either Twitch or if you want to send me a message on my tabletopping.net website, you can do that with the contact me link. Tell me a little, about, little bit about yourself and then I'll pull you in in the team speak. We'll talk and uh, I will probably go ahead and only do this for a day or two but I will contact everyone if the spot does fill up I will contact everybody and let them know that the spot is filled so I will not leave you hanging in limbo uh, you know wondering hey am I gonna get to talk to Dave or whatnot so I won't do that I, I try to reply to everything so well uh, yeah I, I definitely do in emails and stuff so alright guys so and then I'll pull you into TeamSpeak. We'll talk a little bit more in depth and in detail what I require of players. You must have a webcam. You have to have TeamSpeak. You have to have a working headset. It must sound good. Uh, you got to use push to talk. I, you know, I do have some requirements, but hey, you know, when I'm putting these in videos, I have to try to have the best sound quality as I can. So, all right, guys. The floodgate is open. If you're interested in playing in a Saturday game let me know comment section send me a message on twitch or send me a message on tabletopping.net contact button all right so now lastly talking about the games and stuff i want to reiterate the starting times have changed now i've been starting on the weekends for the past year or so i'm probably i'd say six months to a year i've been starting at 4 p.m eastern well, with the changes, my son getting to work now, and, uh, you know, the responsibility of making sure he gets there and whatnot, because he doesn't have a license yet, uh, I have moved the games up to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I had a lot of people come in at about 4 o'clock last weekend, well, yesterday, and say, holy crap, how long has the game been going on? Well, guys you gotta pay attention to the Monday video so and I will change the schedule widget on the twitch channel too I just haven't done that yet because the art is changing overall and I'm not gonna change something and then change something a week from now so alright like I said schedules changed Saturday and Sunday 2 p.m. Eastern to anywhere between 6 and 7 alright there you go now also I, I've kind of been hard on myself and I, I I really wasn't happy with a way a couple of the games ended I, I was not happy and, I, and I'm coming to you as you know this is coming from me my heart and you know how I like to portray my games and try to have the best games but I want to apologize the way Princes of Apocalypse ended I want to apologize for the way the rise of Tiamat ended. I, I just wasn't happy with the way, as a dungeon master, and from my personal, uh, you know, my personal inner self, I wasn't happy with the way those games ended. They should have ended a lot better. And you know, I've been the type of DM to where, if players invest their time with me, I don't want to kill their characters off. You know, I don't, you know, I try not to, I try to be the most fair dungeon master that I can. And, you know, I'm, I'm still a fairly new dungeon master. I've only been DMing about three and a half to four years. Although I've been playing since 84. And believe me, 
I've had characters go through the meat grinder plenty of times, and I've I've lost a lot of characters. But I you know I, I wasn't happy with the way those two games in particular ended, and I apologize to you, my community, my viewers, uh, because it, they didn't end the way that I wanted them to. I I think it was a culmination of me being burnt out. I think it was a culmination of this game dragged on for a year, a year and a half. I think it was a culmination of those two things as the main contributors of why the game probably didn't, those games didn't end that well. So I apologize to you, and I want to change the way that I DM. And I am going to do that. You know, I, I am not going to, you know, be protective of the players fully anymore. If, if players make mistakes, you know, because this is a game of choice, I don't want them to feel passive to where Dave is never going to, you know, punish the characters. I, you know, it's not Dave versus the group. It's not like, it's not that at all. And I've stressed that and emphasized that over the three and a half years of me dungeon mastering. But there needs to be consequences for players' actions, the way that they, you know, treat other players, the way that they treat NPCs. You know, do they enter this room without looking for a trap? Does, does the rogue forget to check for traps? I'm not going to be the DM and say, hey, you might want to check for traps first. I'm going to really change the way that I DM. And, and, and I, and I w don't want to say that I'm going to become a more ruthless dungeon master, but there will be more ruthless consequences that the players will have to deal with and, you know, basically deal with because of their actions. So, like I said, guys, I totally apologize the way a couple games have ended. Uh, they're, they're not the way that I really wanted to end the games, but they ended. Uh, they ended the way they did. You know, I did leave them open it, you know, at the end to where we could go back to them possibly. But I just wasn't happy with those. And like I said last time, I'm going to apologize. Guys, I'm sorry about that. It just wasn't up to my standards. And, I, and I've wanted to talk about this the last couple of weeks, uh, but I just really didn't feel I was ready to talk about it yet. And, you know, in many ways, I feel like that I kind of failed as a, as a DM to my players first off and then to you guys watching the video so guys I'm totally sorry about that last time all right that's the end of that so uh, I will be changing my ways I will be you know I cast today transmutation spell on myself to transmutate how I how I do things now as a dungeon master so all right guys so the last thing that I'm gonna leave you with is a giveaway yes a giveaway jazz hands so if you want to win gauntlet slayer edition the new gauntlet that just came out last year feel free to leave a comment down below you know what type of uh, ideas do you have for the exp system what type of you know what type of video editing skills that you have that you could possibly help me make a five second intro you know, do you have any suggestions for a Patreon? Do you have any suggestions for the channel itself? Do you have any comments on my dungeon mastering style? Do you have any comments for anything? Do you have any comments on the recent time changes? Do you have any comments on the players? Do you have any comments on, you know, the games themselves, the rule types? All the commenters in this week's video are going to be entered into winning Gauntlet Slayer Edition. So I think it's like a $20, $30, $40 game somewhere on there. This is the last copy that I have. I bought a four-pack for like 100 bucks or so when it came out. So guys, you'll have an opportunity to win that. I'm going to take one lucky winner uh, at the end of the week. Next Monday when I make the new video, I'll announce the winner and then you'll have to contact me, and then I'll get you that via Steam. So, guys, gals, thank you so much. This has been like a 24, 25-minute video. I've rambled on enough for this week. Guys, 
please leave a comment down below. Help me with this, and I want to help you giving you the best possible games or tutorials or whatever you guys need. I'm here for you guys. So leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Stay subscribed if you're already subscribed. And until next week, guys, have a great one, and happy gaming.